hello everyone so today we are going to learn about our third financial statement that is cash flow statement in the last videos we have learned how to create a general entries and how to create our ledgers and how to categorize our ledgers like this you can see and uh, how to create our financial statements and then profit and loss counts and then balance sheet in this video we are going to amend our financial statement uh, if you have watched our last video you can see that we have created a simple financial statement and in this statement we are going to create a more categorized financial statement like current assets and non current assets uh, current liabilities and non current liabilities the reason to categorize them uh, we have to use all the categorization in our uh, in our cash flow statement so i hope uh, you will get more knowledge by watching this video and if you have uh, proper knowledge about your categorization of uh, current and non-current assets you can switch to our next video that is about cash flow statement so let's get started to our video so let's get started to our new video today we are going to uh, make a third financial statement uh, which is our cash flow um, i hope you have watched our last two videos about uh, last videos about our from star general entries ledgers we have also made a video on ledger accounts as well all of so second one we have created about the trial balance as well profit and loss so hope you have watched the formatting as well uh, balance sheet now we are going to uh, create a new video about our cash flow statement so uh, we will also going to make a next video on how to use this uh, self-created software so let's create a new sheet and rename it as a cash flow so let's drag it to the extreme right before the charts of counts and uh, I'm just going to copy the format from the top format just go and hit uh, control plus C go to the cash flow first column and then just you can just do its formatting a little bit you can also use the auto width but uh, I'm not using because I have to so one more thing that we need to do uh, before going to our cash flow uh, in the last video I didn't segregate between the current liabilities and non current liabilities and the current and non current assets over here you can see there is only one liability that is our current liability and there is three basically there are three uh, assets first one is cash second one is furniture and third one is inventory uh, furniture is actually a long term asset uh, that is our furniture that is a long term asset so we have to put it in our long term liabilities uh, sorry long term assets and uh, I'm also going to pass one more entry for our long term debt. So let's go and uh, for example, we have purchased, uh, we have applied for a loan from a bank and uh, that is a long term loan. Uh, we have to take it as a loan. So, uh, as you know, we have created a list over here. And for this loan account, we need to go to the charts accounts and we have to enter over here loan loan that will be treated as a liability so now it will be uh, selected from the that list over there so let's go to the general entries and see if it's updated over here yeah so, and uh, let's hit second one over here we need to enter the loan that will be credit so drag it down copy and paste it over here so let's refresh it and uh, just go to our balance sheet trial so in the trial you can see there is a loan account over here so uh, loan is actually our liability one more thing we also need to categorize all of them as a, as a current assets and uh, non-current assets so this is our asset cash is our current asset 
but there's no need to take the cash uh, in our cash flow statement i'm just categorizing it as a current asset cost of goods sold is expense there's no need to categorize the, your expenses as a current or non current so furniture is non current non current mean any asset that uh, you can hold more than one year or you can also hold the cash but cash is normally treated as a current asset inventory inventory is also a current asset Office supplies, the, the, that one is an expense. Equity, there is no need to enter the current or non current. So, liability, your receive, uh, payables or receivables are the current, and uh, your loan is non current. So, here I have categorized a few, uh, all of them like this. So there is no need to change anything in the uh, profit and loss count, but yes, in the uh, balance sheet, we need to change some things like this. Uh, so, let's press. Uh, if you want to just enter the one more rows you need to press alt h i r it's for the rows and uh, i am just going to copy this one inventory and paste it over here and drag it down like this and i'm going to just delete this one so what we need to do uh we just need to enter the current assets and uh, over here we are again going to enter one more row and uh, enter the non current assets we can also automate this but uh, in the next video we are definitely going to instruct you how how you can make all those stuff automated in the non current asset you know our furniture is a non current asset let's we're going to our trial balance so loan actually loan is over uh, let's go and select this one copy the loan go to our balance sheet next video you are going to paste it over here now just copy the formula paste it over here you can see the loan amount is 100,000 uh, we need to do some format we will see it again why this is not happened but at this moment I am just doing this step there so that the video will not get more longer okay so link this cell with this if there are more than one long-term liabilities you need to add all them this one right liabilities and uh, from current over here this non-current liabilities okay so we have categorized our current and non-current liabilities now we are going to add all those this is our total liabilities so now our financial statement our balance sheet is a little bit more categorized and you can see our balance sheet is also made over